Welcome back. Coach, remember a couple of weeks ago, we were looking at a picture of you from your young coaching days at the University of Florida? That was a picture taken two years ago. Right, with uh, the yeah. very yeah. dark hair. Real and, dark hair, no wrinkles, yeah. Right. You said players back in those days never smiled. Players, coaches, you always had to look kind of tough, didn't you? Yeah, it was kind of like an image that you had to uphold, you know. It was like if you played football, you were not allowed to smile. Have you noticed nowadays players aren't like that? They're a little bit looser nowadays, yeah. I got a feeling you got something coming here, though. Well, I try to do a little experimenting or a little research, try to figure out why players nowadays just don't have that look of players of the old days. There's no doubt players are bigger than ever before. There's no doubt they hit harder than ever before. There's no doubt they get paid more than ever before. But have you ever noticed that nowadays, when you take them off the field, pose them in front of a camera, they tend to look a little... Wimpy, yeah. Wimpy's like a good word. Yeah. I'm glad he said it because he knows what he's talking about. Kid Kiefer is editor of the largest sports card collecting magazine in the world, headquartered in Iola. Before you look at them and they were in a three-point stance or they were catching a ball or they were holding a helmet or they were doing something, now it's just, okay, one knee, hold your helmet, you know, look up, try and look human, you know, you'll be fine. Remember the old days when a player's pose wasn't only something to be admired but copied? You're a kid, you see Mike Mercer with his foot about two feet above his head, you go out and try it and you can't walk for a week. Bare legs, nice shoes, and that sort of leap up in the air. You know, that's why I never made it as a quarterback. I'd look at a card like this and go out and try to throw like that. There's no hiding the fact the pizzazz is gone. Ken Rutgers can stop Lawrence Taylor, but if pose is counted, wouldn't you rather have a Bill Glass or maybe a Jim Parker on your side? Now, you hate to keep bringing up the glory years, but what about a young Don Bracken versus a veteran Don Chandler? He's 32 years old. 32. A lot of miles on his clock. A friendly Keith Woodside or a frazzled Paul Horning? Horning is terrified of something. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly what, but something really scared him. How about Alan Vinegrad versus Forrest Gregg? How can someone play football and still have hair like that? And there were plenty of others, each one looking a little tougher than the players of today's era. That's what I used to love. You don't get that tear somebody's head off look anymore. I mean, what does Tony Mandrich do these days? Yeah, that's a good point. Well, now that you brought it up, Tony's look is actually a little more intense than most. But if he could choose the pose, it would be more along the lines of what... Bronco Nagorski did, you know, the old Notre Dame. Something like this. I think Tony and Kid are right. It's time to go back to the old days. The days of stiff arms and rugged tackles. Of high kicks and low blocks of jump passes and painful expression. A time when looks could kill, when the pose was important, when men were men and looked great in uniform. So did you have one classic pose at all? <laughs> I don't know who those last two guys were. I, <laughs> I wouldn't mess with the fullback, I'll tell well, you that. the guy handing the ball off looked like an athlete. The uh, other guy did not. No, <laughs> he was stockier. He had that build, you notice yeah, that? Yeah. That was before steroids, so that was oh, natural. That, yeah, yeah. Like, naturally yeah. fat. Right. Yeah. <laughs> when we come back, we'll talk about the Lions. Stay with us.